Sports betting here in Florida is keeping the state's gambling hotline busier than ever. And now it's looking into how to expand its operation to keep up with the demand. Our Stephanie Valram is looking into this for us this morning and has more. Steph? Morning, Matt and Sam. So the volume of calls and messages to the gambling helpline here in the state of Florida has more than doubled since sports betting went back online. So this is all according to the Florida Council on Compulsive Gambling. Now, over the weekend, I actually spoke to Richard Pinsky, and he tells CBS 12 News calls to the helpline typically spike following following major sporting events. And he's noting it's not just gamblers that are actually calling to get help. They are also seeing a spike in family members calling to get help help and seeking services for a loved one. Now, according to Yale Medicine, about 1% of Americans suffer from a gambling disorder. Pinsky says with the easy access to place bets right from your smartphone, they fear more Floridians could fall victim to this addiction. So when you have an online component now that's available at your fingertips, you no longer have the obstacles that prior to uh, Florida allowing the online sports betting, those obstacles are no longer in place. So you would have to go to a brick and mortar location. You'd have to get up out of your chair. You'd have to go in the car. You'd have to drive somewhere. So there's there's uh, sort of milestones along the way that, that would help trigger, okay, I better slow down. I better not do this. Well, Pinsky tells CBS 12 News he does believe there should be stricter rules on advertising towards young people, and he believes it's going to be on lawmakers in Tallahassee to set those standards. And that's because while gambling can really affect anyone, parents of those older teens, the 18 and 19 year olds, and also young adults really should be paying the most attention to their kids because they are the most susceptible to falling victim to this gambling addiction. You know, you should really be asking the right questions and you can actually seek help by calling that helpline yourself, that phone number right now at the bottom of your screen. Matt, Sam, back to you.